Yeah, right. Nice shadow banning, Call of Duty. <laughs> nice. Nice job, fam. You, you shadow ban me and just put me in this nice lobby where I can just destroy these younger, I mean, older dads that I'm sure have children. I'm sure they're great guys, too. This guy probably took his son to soccer practice earlier. <laughs> that I was just thinking to play. I don't know why this gun gets so much hate. And I guess it is that STB's little brother, so it makes sense. Alright, fam, in today's video, we're going over the MX9, which is by far one of the most peace shooting SMGs in Modern Warfare 2, but I suddenly like it. So, guys, in today's video, I ended up dropping a double nuke, so this one's definitely worth it. Before we get into today's video, guys, say if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, notifications turned down, make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger up on the channel. Guys, let's take a look at the MX9 in Modern Warfare 2. Fam, let's go to hop into our MX9 class setup. I'm going to give you guys the best attachments, the best tunings. I'm also going to give you guys a little bit of trick at the end to control your recoil. This gun reminds me of the Modern Warfare 2019 AUG. So let me know down in the comment section down below. Do you guys like this gun? Let's go ahead and take this gun to the fire range really quick. Let's see how this thing shoots without any attachments. So far, uh, not too solid. Uh, not too bad. Uh, it seems to be pretty accurate. Maybe we could probably up our time to kill um, with these attachments. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the best mobility class setup. So let's hop into this right now. Starting off with the barrel fail, we got the 508 millimeter rare guard. What it's going to do is with the bullet velocity and damage range, your damage range bullets will go up and you're going to get that bullet velocity. What that pretty much means, your guns are going to travel a lot faster to your target. All right, so with the muzzle... See, now, what's interesting about the muzzles here is that a lot of people like to choose these, like the Bruin Pendulum, you know, all, any ones that go farther to the right. I like to go with suppressors sometimes in the game, um, if, specifically the Singa Guard MKV for any SMG, because you don't lose bullet velocity or damage. You can go with this X10 RR40, this is okay too. Um, regardless, they're both the same, um, and they're both going to benefit the gun. Now... The cool thing about suppressors in this game, guys, is that they do allow your gun, your bullets will go travel a lot faster, and your damage range also goes up. So pretty much it's kind of helping you all around for a suppressor, which normally doesn't happen ever. Okay, now for your laser, guys, I want you guys to go with the BLK LZR 7MW laser. I want you guys to choose this because it's going to help you with your aim stability, sprint to fire time speeds, and ADS speeds. All important stuff, by the way. Coming in with that comb. You know, I, I never thought I'd run a comb, but it works for me. I like that FTAC C11 riser because, you know, we want that to get that best mobility possible. Now, for our last attachment, this is going to help you guys with recoil control. It's going to put the Stip 40 grip on the gun. Now, let's take this gun to the firing range. Let's see how it performs without weapon tuning so far. So, this is without tunings. Right now, it seems like it already kills a lot quicker. Uh, long range gunfights are not where you're going to be. So you're really not going to win long range gunfights. As you guys can see, we're not really controlling the gun right now. It's just kind of doing its own thing. But right now, without tuning, it's pretty solid. Now, let's tune this gun. And then I want to show you guys how to control your recoil with uh, guns in general. All right. So for our rear guard barrel, I want you guys to put your recoil steadiness up to 0 0.40. Put your damage range all the way up. I always put damage range and bullet velocity all the way up. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to, because if you guys really think about it, look what's moving in the bars in the bottom right. Nothing's really moving. So you're not really losing anything. You're not really gaining too much anyways. Coming in with that silencer, you guys want to put that all the way up to a 1.0. For your bullet velocity, always put that all the way up. Anything that's going to help your bullets, 100% have put that up. Uh, the laser, we can't tune. Uh, the FTAC 11 riser, we can. Now, with your aim walking speed, you want to put that all the way to 0 0.35 and put your ADS speeds all the way up. Now, for the last attachment, guys, I want you guys to your strip 40 grip. Put your recoil steadiness all the way up and put your aiming auto stability all the way up. Now, a lot of people like to say that when we're making these class setups, you know, people will call me like an idiot because like there's like red bars on the side. Well, to kind of like educate some of the people that have been saying that to me, None of that really matters in the game. Like, it, it matters so little that, like, you don't even notice a difference. So let's go ahead and take this gun to the fire range. I'm going to teach you guys a little secret on how you can get better as a player in general. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got some pretty quick ADS speeds with this gun. Not bad. We got, like, a little quick YY. It seemed to kill a little bit faster. 
were a little bit more accurate. Now, you don't get aim assist this far, so it's kind of, like, hard to kind of, like, judge how we're going to get a long shot, especially in the firing range. You lose aim assist. But let's see here. One, two, three. Oh, three hit. I mean, we're hitting his hand, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all right, so let's teach you guys how you guys can control your recoil. Now, in order to do this, you guys got to learn one thing. It's a really simple thing. All you want to do is hold down on your right thumbstick while shooting. So let me show you guys like what the gun shoots like without me holding down on my thumbstick. It's still pretty accurate. I mean, it kicks up a little bit. Um, so this gun should be a little bit easier for you guys to control. Now, when you're shooting, you guys want to just always tilt down on the right thumbstick. And you're going to notice that you're pretty much going to lock onto one point of the body. Um, if you can actually master that, you'll be pretty good. Like, if we were to do that, like, looking down here, I have no aim assist at all. But if I do that, I'm a lot more accurate. If I'm strafing, too, always make sure you're strafing. Let me show you guys something here. When we're strafing, you are on target way more than not... Oh, we had to reload. You're on, always make sure you're strafing. And you'll actually hit more shots because we gotta reload again. You'll hit a lot more shots while strafing. It's it's a, a very known trick. Um, a lot of people think that people have like these extra um, aim assist boost. If you strafe and press down on your right thumbstick, tilt it downwards, you'll be able to control that recoil, and you will get some more aim assist while shooting players. Let's enjoy today's class. So if you guys did, let's just drop a like. Let's go for 20 likes on today's video, and don't forget, guys. If you want to get better at the game, just watch the gameplay. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. What are these yeah, names, no. bro? Isn't that like a cartoon or some shit? Bro, you're asking me, bro. I don't even know anymore. I don't even. I don't even watch cartoons, bro. Deputy Dog. I'm pretty sure that's an old cartoon, bro. Like you're playing a 60 year old dad right now. Oh my gosh. He's an old man. Bro, I'm pretty sure it's an old cartoon. He's an old man. The playing an old man. Badgie's like cracked out though. Like low key, dude, this freaks me up, brother. Deputy oh, no, Doll, terrible. original release date January 1st, 1960. Oh, nah, I'm playing a dad right now. And it only aired December 31st of 1964. I'm playing somebody's dad. Badgie's like crack. I knew that little the name of that cartoon. I remember. Bro, the Shadow Man lobbies really are easier. <laughs> they really are. Oh, those kids are frozen because they just got flashed. Push it, brother. Push it. Push it, brother. Drop that helo. Who is correct? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, though, bro. I might be completely honest with you. This game is fun when you're dropping streaks. <laughs> when you're dropping streaks and dropping dudes, it's a fun time. When you're not, forget about it. This game's a, a, a cesspool. Okay. Unenjoyment. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, then you want to uninstall. Uninstall the game. Right now, I'm on a kill streak right now, bro. I have not died yet. I don't even know. I'm on a 16, bro. Nice shadow ban, Levy. Yeah, right. Nice shadow banning, Call of Duty. <laughs> nice. Nice job, fam. You, you shadow ban me and just put me in this nice lobby where I can just destroy these younger, I mean, older dads that I'm sure have children. I'm sure they're great guys, too. This guy probably took his son to soccer practice earlier. <laughs> then, I was, then he had to play yeah, me. <laughs> just, took, just, just took his daughter out for ice cream and now he's like, Oh man. Now he's like, you're getting destroyed by me, bro. Nah. I'm a terrible person. I'm a home wrecker. He's probably playing with his son. He's like, watch, I'll show you. Oh, somebody tried to flash me. Hold up. Touch that over there. Did that hit anybody? I'm about to say, like. Here's AFK. Wait, you could get up there? Since when were you allowed to get up on that rock? Yo, I, I'm playing a whole other game. Or we must live in like some type of simulation because like I don't remember being able to even jump on that rock. Like ever. I found out some shit yesterday you could jump on, bro, in the gulag. In Warzone. Bro, I have, I have not. Well, if you ever get in the gulag and they got the gallows where the ropes are hanging. You can get up on that little box and then yeah. climb up on top of the gallows, bro, and then we'll all, we'll see you Okay, all look, I just dropped my quickest nuke ever. That was a 3 minute and 22 second nuke. I'm on a 33 kill streak. I'm not, I haven't died yet, bro. He's a 
dropped a new bag quick in a shadow van lobby. In a shadow van lobby. <laughs> Yo! What is going on? Everybody, everybody's saying their shadow van lobbies are easier. Oh my god, the shadow van lobby's chill. It's it's so I'm bro, I'm dogging on these dudes right now. Like it's not even fair at this point. Like at this point, bro. Just take my shadow ban away, bro. I I just died. 37 kills, bro. I'm about to just drop a double nuke. Hold up. I'm about to drop double streaks. I'm about to double nuke these kids. Hold up. I'm about to double penetrate these guys. It's like, you want to be double penetrated? <laughs> Hit him with that DP. Hold up. Listen. I could have sworn I heard something else over here, bro. I knew I was hearing something. Bro, the audios in this game is like literally free walls. Like low key, like hey, low key, it's free walls. Like I, I hear everything with my three hundred dollar headset, bro. Like I hear everything. I can probably hear things. What would you say the radius, bro? That you can hear things in this game. I feel like I hear it probably about. I'm gonna safely say maybe across the map. I feel like I hear everything. There's two kids in my building. Oh, my teammate just got wrecked. Bro, you got smacked by that dude over there. I feel bad for you. Sorry, I'm gonna reavenge your death though. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a blast on these kids. Who's gonna stop me though? Oh my god. There's a dude up here. I'm so scared to push this kid right now. I don't think I can. Oh! Oh! Nah, brother. Get owned. That cannot be happening to you, bro. No. I'm juking him. I'm on a swivel. I'm a future dad, bro. I'm playing like a future dad would on Call of Duty. I think future dads of America will play like this in the future. And I'm just showing the example. Okay, hold up. There's like mad kids back here. I gotta be careful. One more under here. Hold up. He's pushing. Yeah, brother. Thank you. Oh, there's one more kid already back there? Oh. Well, that was just an easy advanced. Yo, let's double nuke these kids right now. Double nuke. DP. Get DP'd. Get DP'd. Oh, I died again, bro. What was that on the ground? Yo, this kid had a thing on the ground. I I think it was one of those... Uh, I don't even know what that even was, bro. I think it was one of those uh, proximity mines. I think that's what I just died from. Yeah. It was a proximity mine. Kid, get your shock blown off. Get your shock blown off. Hold up. Is he going to push? Who's going to push first? You guys are going to push at the same time. That's scummy. Woo! Get your socks blown off. Hold up. One more push for me. Oh, teammate. Get him. That's right, boys. That's right. Push them all. We let nobody live or survive. At this point, bro, I just feel bad for these dudes. Like, my boys, I don't even know what he's playing on. Probably like a big 70 flat in screen TV. You're going against a behemoth PC right now, brother. Just not happening. Made that. Hold up. You gonna push that? Huh? Oh, you're wild for that. Nah, he's crazy. He pushed that regardless. He, he got the big cojones. Oh, jeez. Hold up. All right, well, let's get this kid really quick. We're gonna drop this advanced. Drop this advanced up. Let's double. Let's double nuke him now. It's over. Let's double nuke him right here. Double nuke him. There's a kid back there, but like I'm not even gonna push him at this point because he's just sitting back there anyways. Like he's got it. I, Oh my god, there's another kid back here. Whoa, he had a rocket launcher. Big Timmy boy. Big Timmy boy. Hold up, they all got rocket launchers. They're trying to bring down our streaks right now. I'm not letting you do that. We might be able to drop this nuke really quick, though. He's still trying to drop that thing right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Boys, we might do it. We might do it. 
We might do it. Uh, we're going to get close. It's going to be close. It's going to be a close one. Close double nuke here. We could. We could. It's potential. It's, there's potential here. They're taking A right now. We got to push over there, though. Ah, oh, we might not be able to get it. We have every... At this point, we have every spawn point, so I don't think we'll be, we have to be able to double nuke these kids. We're on a 25. Hold up. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Hold up. Drop the nuke. 26. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There it is. There it is. There it is. Definitely about to double nuke these kids, bro. At the last second. That's pretty much a double nuke. If that's not a double nuke. Now it is. Let's go. We double nuke them, brother. What did I just drop? 92. Shadow Band Lobbies are the wave, fam. And that MX9 goes crazy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on the post notifications. Don't forget, guys, check out the latest content we got on the channel. Make sure to go outside, touch some grass, eat your greenies, listen to your mom, and do your schoolwork. Anyways, guys, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.